live and then we'll start. Just allow me a minute. Okay. Am I audible? Can someone confirm in the chat if I'm audible? So I can just take as yes. I'm audible. Okay, I can add some confirmation. So that's good. All right, so thank you everyone for joining this session. All right, so let me share my screen and then we'll start, okay? So I'm just going to say my session. Okay, so first of all, we would like to welcome you all in Gwinnett Technologies. And I'll be your instructor for this particular Palo Alto session. So we'll discuss the Palo Alto session throughout, like why this variable is going to be required, what all functionality is going to be happen by using of this variable, and where basically we use this Palo Alto sessions, right? Firewall. So in this section, like uh, basically we'll discuss the like brief uh, introduction about the firewall, the certification, like what we'll achieve after completing completion of this course, what kind of job basically we'll get in the market. So more or less like career guide guidance, I'll help you, you guys like get uh, uh, to know what uh, actually requirement in the market and how basically you guys can, you know, uh, meet those requirements after completing this course, all right? So let me start like my session. So again, uh, I'll be your instructor and my name is Pankaj. So I'll be like going to cover this module that is known as the Palo Alto Firewall module in this particular live training session. So this class is going to be happen uh, uh, probably every day, uh, Monday to Friday by 7 p.m. or probably 7.30 based on the, you know, every one time coming in. So probably it will start around 7 or 7.30 and it will going to be in around 9 or 9.30. So we'll keep doing our discussion about the Palo Alto Fireballs daily basis or might be the alternate basis based on the choice of the people, what they're actually looking for. But the plan is to complete as soon as possible. So people have the more time to do the labs and like they can just, you know, go for the next module or next training if they are looking for, or we can go for the alternate days as well. So there is no, you know, uh, restriction. Like we just have to stay with the daily classes or alternate day. If you're going for the alternate day, that will be also fine Monday. Wednesday and Friday will going to cover this, you know, Palo Alto session. So this is how this batch is going to be done. And it is definitely going to happen in the weekdays, uh, not on the weekend, because weekend uh, we having a plan to start the Cisco SD WAN on some CCN and CCNP sessions. So we'll cover these things on the weekend. And meanwhile, I mean, weekdays will cover this Palo Alto sessions, right? So before I go and start this Palo Alto Firewall, we just have to understand like uh, why this Palo Alto Firewall is required, right? And what are all like uh, market need we having nowadays in the, you know, all enterprise infrastructure and what this Palo Alto Firewall is going to, you know, provide the, you know, additional feature in the, our, our network infrastructures. So we will understand why we need a Palo Alto Firewall or why we need a Firewall, right? So this is the first thing in regard of the any vendor. First, we'll try to understand what is the Firewall, what is the meaning of the Firewall and why do we need the Firewall, right? So this is one thing we'll try to explore, we'll try to understand like in today's session. But before I go in a start, why we need a Firewall, we just have to understand what product we are going to cover and what the certification we are available in the market, right? So we are discussing about the Palo Alto. So first let's understand what Palo Alto certification we having in the market. So I'm just typing the Palo Alto certification, officially the Palo Alto network. So at least you guys having the certification idea also. So education services, if you go in the Palo Alto, you will find that Palo Alto having the education services and they offering a lot of certification, right? So you should know what actually you are going to cover through this course, right? 
So we keep talking about the parallel to firewall, parallel to firewall, but what we are going to achieve after doing this course is we must know, right? So I'm going to tell like what product we are, I'm going to cover and after uh, covering this particular product, what we are going to achieve, right? So that's like goals should be very clear. Our vision should be very clear. Our training plans should be very clear. So at least there is no confusion about their path, okay? And why we are doing and what we'll get after doing this certification or this uh, like live trainings, uh, that also you should know, right? There is no any hidden question, hidden agenda and hidden kind of the communication in two way while doing the learning. So I can see like a lot of people are joined here, Ashutosh, Mohit, Raghavendra, Rakesh, and uh, Rudra, Sivaraman, Smriti, Sunil, and Sachi. So I would like to welcome you all. Okay. Thank you so much for joining the session. Okay. And a lot of people I can see also more than eight people are joining on the YouTube channels. They are watching the live video. So thank you so much guys for joining my YouTube channel or like this Zoom live session. So if anyone like uh, watching me on the YouTube and they want to join the live, just uh, let us know. So we'll share the Zoom link in the YouTube channel. So probably you can join the live. You have any live question or like I can say, uh, if anyone having any question, even you are watching on the YouTube and you, you wanted to just uh, get clarified by me, just put your mass in the YouTube live chat. So I'll keep uh, referring to chat and I'll try to answer you all. Okay. So this is how the communication is going to happen. And uh, there is no like uh, one way communication. It's two way communication. If you guys have any kind of the question, any clarification, feel free to ask. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's understand. So in this Palo Alto education services, they are talking about what education, what training, instructor lead trainings, digital trainings. So instructor lead trainings, that means there would be like, I'm this, this is the training, what is going on? This is the in instructor lead trainings, like I'm the, your instructor and I'm giving the trainings, right? So this is the instructor lead trainings. And one of the digital training that is basically highest of them. I can see you, you're looking very nice. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Your audio seems not connected. So you can connect your audio if you're not able to hear me. I can see your video, but audio is not connected. Just try to connect, okay? So the instructor-led trainings, the training, what I'm giving giving to you all, right? This is the instructor-led training. There is one instructor, they will give you a training. So basically you can ask the any live questions you're having any in mind. One is the digital training that is like pre-recorded trainings, which might be you'll find the Udemy, some YouTube channels. There is like one way communication. You just have to listen. And based on that, you just have to make your mind what is right, what is wrong, right? So this is how the trainings are available even the Palo Alto. You can, if you want to do, you can go, but it's very costly. It's not like too much cheap, okay? But yes, there is a trainings available. Now they are having a lot of trainings plan. If you go here, so they're having a lot of products. So they're having a cloud security. They're having like, uh, you can see uh, cyber security, right? And they're also having a product that is a network security. So you can see there's a three module overall in this Palo Alto. And what I'm going to cover in this module, right? So I'm not going to cover everything here. That is all different three modules. The so cyber security is like OSIN individual, right? If you want to go with cyber security and you just want to do your hand dirty and you just wanted to learn the cyber security and the Palo Alto firewalls. So probably you just have to start with this certification, PCCET. That is a Palo Alto Network Certified Cyber Security Entry Level Technicians. And then after you just have to go uh, some additional certifications, like probably you'll find somewhere. They having a lot of trainings, but you just have to start some basic uh, certification here. There is an additional certification, might be they're not listed here, uh, but somewhere we'll find that definitely. Uh, let me see if there is available. Uh, not in here, but, 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 but there is some kind of module. Okay. Nobody, I'll check that, but you can see there is a cyber security. So you can start your cyber security career. If you want, that is a very interesting and very, you know, sophisticated career available in the market for the cyber security, similar for the cloud security. They are just talking about the cloud security, the Prisma certified cloud engineers, so PCCCSAS, if you want to do like, you want to do certification that you can start your career in the cloud security. 
but we are not going to touch here the cloud security and the cyber security. These are the completely two different domain. What we are going to touch here, that is a network security. So what is the network security? So if I start talking about the network security, we know that in every organization, like even if it's a medium organization, large organization, or like uh, we can say uh, a small organization, they all having a networks. So what is a network? So networks could be, let me just draw the devices. So. Uh, here you'll find the definition of the network. So what else? Let me just try to, so this could be, might be your switch. This will be your switch. This could be the router, right? Let me just type here, router. This could be the server, right? This could be the PC, right? PC, laptop, right? And might be you have WLC you might be having the access point, right? So these all are available in your company environment. So might be, this is how they might be connected. Anyone having any question guys? I can see someone is unmuted yours, uh, himself and try to say. Yes, sir. Yes, Subham, you, you having any question you want to ask? No, no, I join not join for this. अच्छा अच्छा अभी आपने ज्वाइन कर लिया जी 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 कोई दिक्कत अभी आ रही है आवाज आ रही है क्लियर हां सर अभी क्लियर आ रही है ओके ओके कोई क्वेश्चन तो पूछना आप राइट जी 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 ओके ओके all right so you can see here this all devices so further might be uh, we having the internet cloud so let me just write it here so just think this is the internet right internet cloud so this might be connected router with the internet cloud. So you can see this is the network. So collection of the devices inside your offices or interconnection, collection of devices, which should be interconnected between each other, right? Interconnected means one connection should go to the one device, another device like that. So switch having the multiple ports where PC can be connected, where access point can be connected. And again, through the access point, again, laptop could be connected with the Wi-Fi. WLC could be connected, the server could be connected, your router could connect the internet ISP. So all if you include together, this is called as a network, right? So we known as a network. Right. So when you talk about the network, then it's a flat, pure network. There is no security. There is no security. So once you want to introduce the security inside your network, that is known as a network security. So once you introduce a security inside of your network, that is known as a network security. Right. So what we are just talking here that is a network security and how basically we can achieve this network security by using any type of the firewalls right so what the security means that means you just have to introduce any type of the firewalls right it could be palo alto firewall right so i am just writing here palo alto firewall it could be the checkpoint firewall it could be the FortiGate firewall. It could be the Suppose firewall. It could be the any Cisco ASA firewall. It could be anything. So any firewall, whatever available in the market, when you just going to integrate these firewalls with your network, that is known as a network security. And that security is going to protect your all network infrastructures, right? So that's why, they named as a network security in the Palo Alto. And this is a completely individual or uh, I can say unique entity available in the uh, Palo Alto course modules. So one is the cloud, one is the cyber security, and the last one is the network security, which we are going to cover here, right? So in this network security, what we are going to cover, that is the Palo Alto firewall. Right. So this Palo Alto firewall having a lot of certifications, like uh, majorly they have two certifications if you want to do that. So that is the first one known as the Palo Alto Network Certified, ne Palo Alto Network Certified Network Security Administration, the PCNSA. So this is like very entry level. 
if you want to start your any career in the network security so you can just go with this very certificate very basic certification but i would not recommend you should go just waste the money to doing this certification you just learn you can start from here basics and just get the knowledge right but if you really want to go for certification then you just go for this certification right palo alto network which the course is going to cover both of the module that is a palo alto network pc and sa and the pc and se right so these are the module you can see so this is the palo alto network certified network security engineer that is advanced right so this is the like certification if you do this certification having a lot of market value available right so you can see let me just uh, filter it out now uh, from top so we can just i'm just going to certification and i'm not going to talk anything to so cloud cyber security and after security i'm just going to select the network so you can see a lot of security here so i will select the network security so once i'll do that i will only find two certifications you can see here only these two certification available in the palo alto this is the official document i'm not uh, referring anything by on in my slide also i have the certification details if you want to see these two certification already i have mentioned but why i am referring from here because you should know you can visualize what palo alto official documentation says so if you really want to go just have to go services and education on the palo alto networks.com and you will find this certification you can learn more about that but you can go with this certification so in this module in this network security i will cover this palo alto firewall and will achieve this certification easily throughout the session right so we'll touch each and every aspect of this particular palo alto firewall will try to understand each and every topics in the palo alto firewall and after this so you can see a lot of topic we have to cover here so firewall as a platform next generation firewall setup zone security nat policy dot protections app id block threat wildfire malware malware like security profiles in the policy device id block there so a lot of things threat and traffic information panorama so we having a lot of things here to cover even whatever they mentioned that they having inside of the lot of topics right so you can see the course review here you'll find something and some course let me show you you'll find here so let me just open this so we'll try to explore so let me just go and select the certification so let me just open this one okay so if you see this say again they having a zone and policies wildfire security profile security policies threat so they, this this particular having the very less topics this particular module and another pc nsc having the more topics so that's why if i start the certification part and i'll try to go in the my topics what i'm going to cover in this throughout the session uh you can see here this particular pc ns if you pc nsa particularly want to go and give the certification it is going to take you around 150 us dollars so i am not going to recommend you you should do it you should not do it just waste of money you just try to go this one okay because we are covering each and everything okay i'm um, saying we are covering that means we are covering okay and we learn almost everything to just crack this exam okay so what topics basically i'm going to cover here so you can see this in this particular module i'm going to talk about that the platform and architecture again from the again related to the if i show you here it's like next generation firewall setup there is no platform and architecture but if you go in the pc nse it will clearly showing this program uh, platform and architecture module you should have to be covered so uh firewall you can see the platform and module everything should be the cover so that's we are covering here the platform will understand what is a single pass architecture and why we use a single pass architecture right we'll understand the flow logic the packet flow logic that means how the flow logic so let me show you the packet flow of the particular palo alto firewall so let's just assume there is one packet is going to arrive on the firewall right so what is the life cycle of this that particular packet is going to happen throughout the firewall when it's received in the ingress interface and how it is going to be transmitted right so what all action should have to be happen inside of the palo alto firewall what is the slow path what is the fast path the application identification 
what is the content identification so these and what is the forwarding and in, ingress egress interfaces then how it is all the packet life cycle is going to happen and which section what action firewall is going to take and what is the packet flow behavior so these all things we'll understand in the flow logic so this will be the very detailed session we'll understand the what is single pass architecture and the flow logic then further we'll move to the configuration part right so everything once we start our lab so the configuration is like most important so you'll everyone you'll get the lab access right so let me just uh access the lab let me see if it is running mm. I mean, use some other port. Some port should be work. Might be I stop the labs even I don't know which port is working. Let me try which port is working. Let no, never mind. I'm just going to open this uh, on direct. Uh, triple two should be the IP. When I so you'll get the lab access. So everyone will get the lab access and they can access the labs remotely. I'm just using the locally from here, but probably you'll get the lab access and you'll. Uh, so this is like one of the lab. I'm just adding the topic in this module. Earlier I was not delivering, but I thought, let me so global protect understanding. So global protect, I just, you know, side to side VPN and global protect will cover this time. So I just created the lab for the global protect also and already tested it's working. So most of the thing in the global protect earlier due to the license, we were not able to cover most of the things, but this time I created the lab guide also and the global protect like topic, how it is going to be uh, used, how the remote user client VPNs, every setup I'll going, going to be cover this session okay so no need to worry so side to side vpn and global product both will cover so this is the lab i just uh, prepared so if i'm closing that so you'll get that the folder where the all labs will be the pre like uh, topology will be pre-designed which i keep using to uh, explain the all the you know session but if you want uh, and you want to design your own topology that is also possible you can create your own topology i'll give the full access of the evng platform and remotely you can access you can create your own topology and you can test your own things also on the labs it's not like just have to go on the predefined topologies no you can just access because i can create the separate separate vms for you all and you guys can access your labs and you can do whatever you want to do so this is how it is going to be happen so when we start this initial configuration what i was talking so we'll try to configure the day zero firewall configuration what is day zero firewall configuration that means let's suppose i i i i just you know hello alto firewall configuration so day zero that means we are starting something very basic so let us suppose you purchase one of the firewall right palo alto firewall so once you purchase that palo alto firewall what all action you are going to take to make uh, like uh, or you can make them live or on board on the network so what all configuration is going to be required on this particular palo alto firewall so that the day zero firewall configuration basically i'll help you to explain how it is going to happen and what all configuration is going to be required right so we'll start with this configuration with the day zero and after this theoretical little bit understanding we'll cover this day zero configuration with the firewall configuration and we'll try to understand the dashboard and all so in addition of that we'll understand the licensing what kind of the licensing and software upgradation we have to cover in this palo alto firewall account administration how the firewall can be logged in by the local accounts and how that local accounts can be created what are the different different roles can be defined for the local accounts so those things we'll understand in the initial configuration of the firewalls so once we complete these two module right probably this one is a more theoretical you just have have to understand about the palo alto firewall what all like when uh, model available in the palo alto firewalls and then with the initial configuration then probably we'll move to the interface level configurations we'll try to understand what is the security zones what is the layer two layer three interface which were virtual wire interface tap mode interface sub interface dscp and virtual router how the routing is going to be happen even we'll try to understand how the static routing can be configured how the dynamic like 
dynamic routing like the ospf will uh, try to understand about the bgp all field where it is located how can be configured the vr how can be configured the eigrp how rip can not eigrp is not supported by this palo alto firewall but rip can be supported so all option i'll explain you and if you uh, wanted to learn the routing as well just let me know i'll just cover those routing part also right but definitely the static ospf will be configured anyhow in our lab scenario okay but if anyone having the bgp requirement they want to configure rip then just let me know i'll just help you out that also there is no problem okay so these things will be the like help you to understand the different different like modes of the firewall deployment like the layer 2 layer 3 and the virtual wire and tap mode and it is very important because people are very confused and in interview people are keep asking what is the difference between the virtual wire and tap mode but you don't have the you know correct uh, concept so probably you're not able to answer so not only theoretical stuff in our lab will test everything every deployment type even the virtual wire you can see here we having a dedicated lab we having a layer 2 dedicated lab we having a tap mode dedicated lab like so there is a lot of things we have to test and after test we'll come to the conclusion not only theoretical everything in the lab so i'll make you go through the all the lab tests and same lab i'll give to you as a homework and once the finish the session you can try by your own how this all result can be achieved so i'll explain the scenario why i am doing how i am doing the same process you just have to do in your home like lab so not if you want to configure in the laptop i will help you to configure but that is remotely accessible you can access from the home also there is no problem okay so this is like about the uh what i am talking about the uh initial uh after initial configuration interface level configuration will do that like and dscp will see how can we enable what is the dora process how the devices can get the ip address from the dscp server from the palo alto firewall how the dscp relay can be configured so this is going to be very interesting so all the initial configuration and this is the your day-to-day -day, like activities i'm telling you, you this two module probably you will find on a daily basis in your operation you having such kind of requirements creating the policies and that you keep getting such kind of requirement just create the policy nat and the like uh, how this policy can be created what the parameter we should take in the policy after creating this interface in zone you should know the policy administration as well right so what is the policy we'll try to explore about the policy as well and let me just meanwhile uh, start the lab so what i can do let me just day zero start the lab so i'll show you the palo alto firewall dashboard also so you guys can at least understand so let them ready so i'll let i'll show you the dashboard how it look like this firewall i started but probably uh, uh we'll do again from very scratch when we start our session uh i'm just showing today but i'm telling you i'll go from very scratch i'll tell you the history how the firewall what the firewalls and how it can can be configured probably i'll go on the live on the this day zero configuration okay so even the uh, someone is just wanted to watch on the youtube and wanted to learn that is going to help for them also so not only restricted for the zoom people it is just a live session also i'll do for day zero configurations okay so uh now again coming to the module four so the nat this is the more painful for the every uh, security engineers i can say even the i can network engineers so we having a network engineers also in the market so if you are a network engineer like and if you are the security engineer whatever you are uh like you just have to understand the nat and i know this is the very painful for the every network or security engineers what is a nat so no worry we'll understand the four type of nats we understand what is this
is available in the net and how we can read and how we can understand those flags, how we can understand those sessions in the CLI format, right? So that level of understanding I'll give in this particular uh, security zone and ad policy, right? Once we'll Hello. Uh, sorry, guys, I lost the connection somehow. Tell where you guys listen to me. Even I don't know. <laughs> Let me just share my screen. Anyone can confirm which slide I you guys able to see this one? Yeah, you are you are uh, showing us NAT policy actually. Okay, okay. Sorry, thanks. You know, psychate, uh, uh, right? Uh, if yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. Somehow there was issue in the like particular uh, my net and I lost the connection, but uh, I don't know what happened. Okay, so no I was uh, I was talking about the NAT session, right? So in this NAT session, uh, I was talking like we have to cover four type of NATs. That is a source NAT, destination NAT, U-turn NAT, and dual NAT, right? So these all four type of NATs I'm going to cover. And in this NAT session, probably uh, I will show you in a very deeper size, like the, how the flags can be understand, how the session can be understand, NAT session, how it can be read, what is the actual packet what is a translated packet and how basically the sequence is going to look like after the source net after destination net after the uten net and after dual net so these things we'll understand and we'll uh, explore in the lab right and then we'll move to the advanced level of the next generation firewall which basically we call and that is known as the these all like advanced feature that the application identification site right? contained id Right. So, what is the application identification? Must you everyone having in uh, everyone having their question in their mind? What is the application identification? So, application identification is just a very unique feature available in the Palo Alto firewall. If you go in any of the browser and if you try here the applipedia the palo alto network.com this is the all well-known applications that is recognized by the Palo Alto firewalls. So, what are the application? Just given, giving the example, like WhatsApp you guys are using, right? This is one application. If you go in the find here, WhatsApp, right? So this is one of the application. This is the WhatsApp is the application. So you guys are using the WhatsApp and your firewall is able to recognize the WhatsApp application. And if I block this WhatsApp application, you're not able to access the WhatsApp application, right? How it is going to happen? I'll show you in the live. We'll see live testing actually, not only the theoretical, okay? Facebook, so again, the Facebook you can see, Facebook is a one of the application. Whatever you think in your mind, like if you're thinking like uh, uh, Twitter, so Twitter is the application. I'm writing correctly or not? Uh, Twitter, I don't know what is the correct meaning. So anything, uh, what else we having an application like uh, Google? So Google is also one of the application, right? So you'll find here the Google application. Google base, right? You can, if you type the uh, prime videos like Netflix, they all are well, uh, like uh, known applications, right? I don't know what happened today. My net is showing unstable. I hope audible, right? Anyone can confirm? I'm audible, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, audible. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, 
any type of the applications, whatever. So total number of application you will see uh, Palo Alto Firewall having their engine and they recognize total number of the application this much. You can see 4086 and it's keep updating the application. Some application are very good with the very low risk. You can see green, some are like blue. That's again, low risk. Some are the yellow that is again low. Like you can see the medium risk, but once you go some little bit uh, higher, deep yellow and the red, they are the high risk applications. Even they will warn, not use such application which having the high risk as a vulnerability. Might be they are like having such kind of the vulnerability scenario where your network might be damaged by using this application. These are the file sharing applications, some of the collaboration applications. You can see different, different application name we having. So probably this application you should avoid to use in your network or you should block these applications because they are the highly sensitive or highly risky application in the application. So we'll see how this application can be blocked, how it can be used in our lab in moment, okay? So in this particular application, we'll understand how the application can be grouped, how can we filter, how can we allow, what how can we deny, and how basically the packet uh, flow when this application is going to enter this, you know, uh, station, you can see here how this application identification engine is going to behave with those application, right? And how one application is going to shift to the another application and what is the meaning and how the firewall is going to behave if the application shifting is going to happen and how what does mean of the application shifting, right? Even many people are not having the clear understanding what is the meaning of the application shifting? I'm just giving an example, right? Uh, for you guys understanding, what is the meaning of the application shifting? So let's just suppose you are accessing the Facebook, right? So Facebook having a lot of applications, right? So you are ac accessing the Facebook. So you can see this is a Facebook application, but right now you're doing the Facebook browsing. Facebook browsing, that means the Facebook base. Maybe you are just doing some kind of the Facebook posting or might be you are doing some like of the, any of the video, you're watching the video on the Facebook, right? But suddenly after doing this all, you move to the chat, like you want to do the chat for your friend. So you basically was doing uploading and downloading or file sharing kind of the Facebook or might be the Facebook base application. But from that base, you move to the might be you'll not give access to the IT people to access the Facebook, right? Yes, I come less, I can understand my network is unstable. Uh, okay. So how many you guys are experiencing my voice having issue? Or is it okay now good? Anyone can confirm or else I'll switch my network. If really it's unstable, I'll switch to another broadband or is it yeah. good for now? I would support sir. Okay. Next time, if it's going to happen, just let me know. Okay. Uh, just ping me so I can try to switch my network. Okay. Uh, okay. So I don't know what's happened. There's a fiber and I don't know why it's sometime it's happened. Network glitch, network problem. I'll troubleshoot after this session. Okay. Uh, or let me just try to let me just do the live troubleshooting what is happening in my isp so it's pinging it looks good at least we are able to reach here i'll see the packet loss if happening okay so i was talking like let's application you are working in the two domain one is the it people one is like uh, marketing people right so marketing people uh require the facebook but it people doesn't require the facebook so if such kind of scenario is going to happen might be they both connect in the same line. How you're going to do that, right? And by using the parallel to firewall. That I'll explain in the live session, okay? Uh, when we will go for the study, okay? How it is going to possible, okay? But for timing, I'm explaining 
how basically this application id is going to be helpful for you to block the application for one set of the people that is belong to the it group and it is going to allow one set of the people that is belong to the marketing group but still there is one requirement marketing people should not having a privilege while sitting in the office they can watch the facebook video they can play the facebook game they can do the facebook chat they can do the file sharing they can download anything right they cannot do anything they need a facebook access but it's still only for facebook posting what is the facebook posting this application they just want facebook posting that means they can just post something on the facebook but everything it should be blocked so this is a facebook posting right so you having the very custom scenario right and to meet this custom scenario how palo alto firewall is going to do that i'll tell you i'll tell you how it is going to be happen and what action you have to tell in this application section okay so this is how basically it's very important the application sometime application are very important and this feature are very make you the life easy while doing the palo alto palo alto con configurations again this is the our internet so this is my internet world and this particular firewall is connected to the internet right and behind this particular firewall we having might be the switch um this switch might be connected to the firewall right so let me just write here this might be the switch and behind this switch we having the pc right so any pc could be connected right so let's understand what is what is means contained right so this is very important still will go in a very deep dive but i'm just giving an example this pc wanted to download some file right so contained means something you uploading right right one is uploading something you downloading so anything whatever you are doing even you are sending email right that email having the x y z written right whatever the content you written so that is the content so something you are uploading something you are downloading something you sending as a attachment that is again like attachment again it's like upload you are attaching some file on emails and sending to the internet right or might be some other email right so again it's part of the upload so that content means whatever you are traffic sending back and forth from your user pc to the internet that firewall should know what content you are sharing or you are downloading from internet so let's suppose you are the employee of the company and there is very confidential data right and you share to the internet to some other competitor so it is going to huge business loss for your organization so your data filtering data leak should be prevented by using the palo alto firewall after monitoring those contents how it is going to happen how basically we will test that that definitely i will explain in the our content inspection session right so data filtering how it is going to happen so we having the live labs for this so probably i cannot show you for that lab let me just try so basically uh, okay this firewall is ready i believe let me just see okay it's went in the maintenance recovery let me just wipe this firewall no problem i'll i'll show you some day later about this firewall logging but let me show you that you know what i wanted to show so see here so in this particular lab basically we having a scenario where might be my having the some ftp servers some ad servers they connected these are the actual ad and ftp server i built it in the windows server 2019 right something is not dummy 
it is like realistic thing i am going to show you and test you everything how the ad integration even is going to happen our the next module i'll going to show you and in this section i'll try to some you know leak the data from one zone to another zone and we'll understand how palo alto firewall is going to protect those data leaking right so this is the beauty of this you know contained inspection so this contained inspection having a lot of powerful features like even in your network someone is downloading virus file right while downloading or uploading your firewall is capable to understand those files and if they found the, the signature is belong to the virus they can easily block you right they can easily block you and uh they will report you in the you know palo alto section uh, there is something not going good for you and might be it is not good for your network similar someone is trying to doing the spying activity on your network so that is also going to be you know protected by the firewall they having a well known signatures they keep updating those signature from the palo alto database servers and if anything is going to be uh, suspect, uh, suspicious in your network they are just going to be blocked so this is how this all content url filtering data filtering dos protections so everything is going to be happen in this particular contained inspection and we'll test everything i'm telling you again every feature i'll show you the live not something even the vulnerability protections i am using the kalinux machine it will generate the live vulnerability uh from the internet and it will do the attack might be the ftp server or user or this ad server and we'll see how my palo alto firewall is going to protect those vulnerabilities okay so this is something going to be very interesting and we'll see all the you know live things again mo moving to the next section that is the module is the security profile blocking so if you want to block some kind of the pdf file some kind of the zip file some kind of the word file you can block by using this particular module wildfire analysis for zero day attacks will cover how i'll show you even that wildfire how this wildfire is going to work I, i'll show you the live even i'll i create some kind of the wildfire section uh, sessions and the profile security and attach to the our security profiles or security policies and then uh, we'll do some kind of the custom uh, signatures uh, upgradation uh, like upload or download and through the firewall and we'll see how this wildfire signature is going to verify from the wildfire servers and they will give the live reports after 15 or 20 minutes what kind of the virus you are just trying to upload or download or what kind of the file you are trying to upload and download so that will also i will show you in the session moving to the most interesting topic again the ssl decryption many people having a lot of doubt about the ssl decryption right they keep talking like what is ssl inbound decryption what is the outbound decryption how it can be configured what is the certificate why we need the ssl what is the private public key so no worry i'll explain these all with the lab so i have four again this particular section we have the lab so you can see here we have the ssl decryption labs so probably we'll see how this all can be happen so i believe somehow this lab is not available so we can test here no problem this might be lab we can use the cell decryptions so again this can be tested here no problem just required one firewall or two pcs to just test it so we'll test it here so ssl decryption or might be will test on this lab so there is no separate lab is going to required because one topology can test multiple things so this is a master topology in my lab so this topology having lot of lab test i am going to perform lot of test i am going to do that okay so probably will test the ssl decryption also here so no need to worry at all or might be we can create the separate topology right any question guys here anyone having anything in your mind, in your mind so i'm keep speaking uh, since 45 minutes so if anyone having any question please unmute yourself and ask your questions so at least uh, i would also know like what you guys are thinking what you having expectations so we can move on further anyone okay no problem if you having any question just tell me know over the chat okay and we will try to understand okay all right so moving further like uh, uh we having a further module that is the user identification so that user identification is also very unique in our uh, this lab testing because this required the ad integration to the palo alto firewalls for which we having the ad integration uh 
switch is connected, firewall is connected, and AD is going to be integrated. How this integration is going to happen? Proper, uh, I will explain with the proper lab guides. So some of the lab guides also we having up available for the different different uh, scenario that is uh, quite complex. So probably, let me see, AD somewhere I have uh, AD integration. Let me see this should be there. Yeah, so this is the lab guide you can see. So how user and integration is going to happen, what all the step, because it's quite big lab. So for that, I just created similar for the global product. I have the lab guide. So I'll explain each, each steps, like how it can be done. So you'll get get this lab guide access and we'll know each step configuration, how it is going to happen for the this parallel to firewalls. Right, so this user ID is also inter uh, interesting, and then we'll understand the mapping of the user and the IP address user IG agent that we all understand. Then we'll move to the next module that is known as the site to site VPN and the remote access VPNs. So, in this, we'll cover and we'll invest almost two, three classes because it's a very important topic. Every organization having the site to site VPNs. What is IPsec? So it is not only the Palo Alto. I'll cover the in core IPsec completely. I keep covering what is the phase one, what is the phase two, what is the crypto, what is the ICK MPA, how the tunnel mode, what is the main mode, and what is the uh, different different six packets, three packet exchange, and uh, how the tunnel and you know uh, um, our main mode are working in the Palo Alto firewall or the routers. These are I'm going to explain. What is the encryption? What is the hashing? What is the like um, uh, data integrity? Or how can maintain so confidentiality? So everything I'll cover from the in core CCI book, right? So I'll cover from the CCI this all theoretical part, and then we'll go and configure the side to side VPN. And then once we're done with the side to side VPNs, we'll go with the remote user VPN that is a global product. So complete global product configuration I'll show you and uh, how it is going to be configured in the uh, live network that that also you'll get from this particular session and once we have done with this uh, module 10 we'll left with this module 11 that is more about the panorama dashboard understanding basic logging and basic reports that i'm going to explain about this so Panorama, we having a little bit uh, licensing issue for the complete full laps, but yes, definitely we'll cover maximum thing in the Panorama. I'll explain what is a pre-rule, what is the post rule, how can be, what is a default rule, how can be configured, what is the, you know, let me show you some laps also we have for the Panorama, so you guys can test it. So how, how the device can be integrated with the Panoramas. Uh, uh to the different different sites you can see this is the panorama we having a different different location us and india and if you want to integrate these sites and this firewall the panorama how it can be happen how the policy rule set in the panorama nat rule set in the panorama is quite looks different than the individual firewalls so this will also will going to be covered right and then after we'll move to the final module that is known as the HA. So this is the active passive, which having a two module that is active active and the active passive. Both I'm going to cover and we'll discuss how this active active and active passive session is going to be useful for you, right? So meanwhile, uh, let me just uh, try to again run this firewall. Let me just try to change the OS version for this particular firewall. And meanwhile, if anyone having any question, just try to ask me. Anything if you having in your mind, not hesitate. Please feel free to ask and mute yourself. Okay. Meanwhile, let me just show you how basically firewall is going to be looks like, how the labs is going to be looks like for you. So you guys can understand. So let me just see. This firewall is booting up. It will take some times and then we'll understand. In addition of that, like documentation point of view, uh, you'll get the books and all. So I have a lot of documentation uh, for the every topics, like the training materials, like uh, t-shirt materials. We'll do the t-shirt session also, live t-shirt session, how to do the packet capture, how basically uh, do the debug sections, right? Uh, so that also I am going to uh, show you in the live and how basically uh, different different uh, commands we having. Let me show you that uh, CLI command you want to explore in the Palo Alto firewall. So I'll give this documentation to you all. So you guys can run in the CLI. You can understand what is the meaning of the command, how it can be, you know, give the output different, different of the different, different command. So this will going to help you the, you know, 
for CLI flavors. And similarly, if you want to run the packet capture, how the steps you have to take and what all process you have just have to follow, we just have to debug uh, steps, how the flow, flow basic can be capture and what is the prerequisite required while owning the debug and all in the Palo Alto firewall and how we can read that you know debug messages and how it is going to help you in the live troubleshooting that also i'm going to you know uh, cover this all in our training modules right so let me know if we're having any question meanwhile i'm just let me see uh, what is the status of my firewall so I can just walk through the dashboard of the Palo Alto firewall. So you guys can see here my firewall is booting up. So this is the latest version of the firewall. This is the Pan OS 10 firewall, and this is the license firewall I have. So Pan 10.0.x reach of the firewall I have. Yes, any question, guys? Is you a question? I think we push na jara. Subham, anything you want to ask? Yeah, sir. But I G scalar you be a what actually was server and other are G scalar. Uh, Acha, TK, good question. Uh, up to visit Matoye, could be question under the Magmara to push you. So, take a G scalar. They get do she. I'm at Tora Sako, but I'm up in the pushy the ato. A condition. So, हमारे पास G scalar है, right? एक है firewall, right? एक होता है router, right? एक होता है switch, एक होता है server, right? तो आप लोग confused मत होइएगा, मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ। Server का काम क्या होता है? Server is responsible to host the application. It is used to host the application. This is server, right? So, जहाँ पे आप application को host करते हैं और फिर उसको remotely या फिर locally जैसे भी आपको उसको access करते हैं, remotely access करते हैं या और locally उसको access करते हैं. So, this is what the server is going to help you. Switch क्या करता है? Switch is just going to give you the layer two connection. That is a layer two switch. Layer three switch आपको layer three connection भी दे सकता है, right? So, ये दोनों काम कर सकता है. Layer two and layer three connection दे सकता है, right? अगर आपका मॉड्यूलर मल्टीलेयर स्विच हुआ तो राउटर क्या कर सकता है ये राउटिंग भी कर सकता है तो जस्ट आप अभी इसको मैं बोलूंगा कि लेयर 3 भूल जाओ स्विच अभी मान के चलो कि लेयर लेयर 2 कनेक्शन देता है राउटर क्या करता है ये आपको राउटर जो है लेयर 3 कनेक्शंस देता है एंड राउटिंग करता है राउटिंग क्या होता है हमारा ओएसपी चला देगा आपका स्टैटिक राउट चला देगा आपका बीजीपी चला देगा आपका और क्या चला देगा रिप चला देगा आपका ईएचआर पे चला देगा आईएस आईएस चला देगा और क्या चलाएगा ये एमपीएलएस चला देगा आपका एसडी वैन भी चला देगा ठीक है एसडी वैन में जो प्रोटोकॉल है तो लिख देता हूं ओएमपी ठीक है तो ये सारी चीजें चला देगा राइट सो दिस इज लाइक राउटर राइट इसका फायर आपका तीन चीजों का क्लियर हो गया अब आपका क्वेश्चन था कि जी स्किलर क्या करता सर्वर है क्या तो जिस क्लब जाने से पहले मैं फायरवॉल की बात करता हूं फायरवॉल क्या करता है फायरवॉल आपकी जो नेटवर्क होता है उसमें सिक्योरिटी प्रोवाइड करता है राइट सिक्योरिटी क्या होती है सिक्योरिटी जो होती है आप जैसे एक ऐसे इसको समझो कि आपने एक बहुत ही बढ़िया सोसाइटी बनाया और बहुत ही बढ़िया घर बनाया आपने राइट अब उस घर के अंदर आपको जैसे मान के चलो कि जस्ट हैव टू मेक देम वेरी सिक्योर तो आप क्या-क्या कर सकते हो आप सीसीटीवी कैमरा लगा सकते हो राइट यू कैन इंस्टॉल द सीसीटीवी कैमरा आप और क्या कर सकते हो उस घर के अंदर अच्छा सा लॉक लगा दोगे राइट ताकि कोई उसको ब्रेक ना कर सके ये सारी चीजें आप उसमें डोर लगा दोगे डोर के अंदर लॉक लगेगा राइट सो ये सारी चीजें आपको घर का सिक्योरिटी देने के लिए काम करते हैं राइट उससे भी आपका दिल नहीं भरा तो आप डेडिकेटेड आपके पैसे हैं तो आप डेडिकेटेड एक सिक्योरिटी गार्ड राइट आप सॉरी डेडिकेट कर सकते हो सिक्योरिटी गार्ड राइट डेडिकेटेड आप सिक्योरिटी गार्ड आप इसमें लगा सकते हो वो सिक्योरिटी गार्ड क्या करेगा आपके घर की देखभाल करेगा तो अगर कोई बाहर से बंदा आता है आपके घर में घुसने की कोशिश करेगा तो वो पहले प्रोटेक्ट करेगा आपको अगर उसको मार दिया किसी ने कोई थेप थेप करने वाला है शोर वगैरह है उसको मार दिया तो फिर वो जाके फिर से दरवाजा तोड़ेगा फिर लॉक तोड़ेगा 
फिर जाके घर के अंदर घुसेगा तो इतने लेवल ऑफ सिक्योरिटी उसको पास करनी पड़ेगी फाइनली सीसीटीवी लगा हुआ तो भी उसकी फुटेज आ जाएगी कैप्चर हो जाएगा तो आपके नेटवर्क में यू हैविंग अ मल्टी लेवल ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी सिमिलर इन द नेटवर्क दे हैविंग अ सिक्योरिटी दैट इज नोन एज लाइक लेयर थ्री सिक्योरिटी जिसमें आप पॉलिसी uh, बनाते हो लेयर फोर सिक्योरिटी आप जिसमें पोर्ट एंड प्रोटोकॉल्स को आप प्रोटेक्ट करते हो फिर लेयर सेवन सिक्योरिटी जिसमें आप एप्लीकेशन को अंडरस्टैंड करते हो फिर आप फाइनली कंटेंट को इंस्पेक्ट करते हो जैसे कंटेंट लेवल सिक्योरिटी बोलते हैं लाइक कंटेंट लेवल सिक्योरिटी सही सारी चीजें आपको फायरल करती है मतलब आपको लेयर थ्री सिक्योरिटी देती है लेयर फोर सिक्योरिटी देती है लेयर सेवन सिक्योरिटी देती है आपको कंटेंट लेवल सिक्योरिटी देती है और भी एडिशनल फीचर हैं जो आपका ये और भी चीजें चेक पोस्टर मैनेजमेंट होता है जैसे डिवाइस किस है क्या ओ एस है एडी इंटीग्रेशन है तो बहुत सारे फीचर है जो आपको पैलोल टू फायरवल आपको देता है ये तो फायरवल का काम हो गया अब आपने क्वेश्चन पूछा है कि जी स्किलर क्या करता है सर्वर है क्या सर तो आपका बिल्कुल क्वेश्चन सही है लेकिन इसका आंसर जो ये है कि जी स्केलर सर्वर नहीं है राइट ये एक तरह से आप समझो तो ये एक तरह से फायरवल की तरह काम करता है बट ये फायरवल भी नहीं है पूरा राइट इसको हम बोलते हैं प्रॉक्सी प्रॉक्सी सर्वर आप इसको बोल सकते हो सर्वर बट इट्स अ प्रॉक्सी सर्वर इट्स अ सर्वर बट प्रॉक्सी सर्वर सो ये प्रॉक्सी सर्वर क्या करता है प्रॉक्सी सर्वर ये करता है जो फायरवल के अंदर क्या होता है कि अगर आपको इंटरनेट पे जाना है लेट सपोज आपको यहाँ पे कोई ऑफिस है जस्ट आपकी मैं डाउट क्लियर कर ये मेरा स्विच है राइट right? इस स्विच के ऊपर मेरा सपोज करो कि यहाँ पे लेट से सपोज यहाँ पे एक राउटर कनेक्टेड है सो so, ये राउटर स्विच से कनेक्टेड है और मैं यहाँ पे जाके इसको आर वन लिख देता हूँ जो मेरा इंटरनेट राउटर है और इसके अंदर एक बाहर की एक दुनिया है राइट right? जिसको हम क्या बोलते हैं इंटरनेट वर्ल्ड बोलते हैं राइट right? सो so, मैंने इसको लिख दिया ये मेरा इंटरनेट वर्ल्ड है राइट right? अब इस इसके पीछे एक यूजर बैठा हुआ है और इस यूजर को मान के चलो कि ये लैपटॉप बैठा हुआ है ये इसका लैपटॉप है और इस यूजर को लैपटॉप है इस यूजर को बेचारे को जाना है इंटरनेट पे राइट right? तो ये कैसे जाएगा राइट सो बेसिकली अगर मान लेते हैं कि ये फायरवल की जगह ये हमने राउटर की जगह यहाँ पे मैंने फायरवल लगा दिया मतलब यहाँ पे मैं जाकर राउटर या फायरवल कुछ भी मान लो यहाँ पे फायरवल लगा हुआ है तो क्या होगा सबसे पहले इस यूजर के पास एक हमारे पास प्राइवेट आईपी एड्रेस हो गया मतलब यहाँ पे मेरा कोई एक दस 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 स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर की आई हो गया अब इसको जाना है कहाँ पे गूगल पे तो गूगल की आई ये तो प्राइवेट हुआ राइट ये प्राइवेट आई हुआ अब गूगल जो है वो तो पब्लिक आईपी है ना गूगल डॉट कॉम जो है इंटरनेट का है तो ये हमारा पब्लिक इसको जब डीएनएस लुकअप करेंगे तो ये मेरा पब्लिक आईपी होगा तो क्या मेरा प्राइवेट टू पब्लिक जा सकता है आंसर इज नो ये नहीं जा सकता है इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू गो फ्रॉम प्राइवेट टू पब्लिक सो आपको करना क्या पड़ेगा आपको करना क्या पड़ेगा जो यहाँ पे जाओगे तो जैसे ही आप इस राउटर पर जाओगे तो यहाँ पे आपको नैट करना पड़ेगा तो आपके जो प्राइवेट रेंज है यहाँ पे नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन करना पड़ेगा नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन सो so, यहाँ पे आपको नेट करना पड़ेगा नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन करना पड़ेगा जैसे ही आप नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन करोगे तो क्या करेगा ये राउटर यहाँ पे आपको प्राइवेट जो आईपी है ना उसको पब्लिक में कन्वर्ट कर देगा तो आपका जो सोर्स एड्रेस है वो भी आपका पब्लिक हो गया और डेस्टिनेशन आई है वो भी आपका पब्लिक हो गया यहाँ पे सोर्स आई आपका है वो भी पब्लिक हो गया और यहाँ पे डेस्टिनेशन आई है वो भी पब्लिक हो गया डेस्टिनेशन तो ऑलरेडी गूगल है पहले से था बट सोर्स आपका यहाँ जो आई का आई है वो यहाँ पे आ जाएगा तो यहाँ सोर्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन दोनों पब्लिक हो गया एंड पैकेट इज गोइंग टू बी राउट टू द इंटरनेट सो दिस इज हाउ योर पैकेट इज गोइंग टू फ्लो इन द नॉर्मल सिनारियो जब आप राउटर या फार्मल यूज करते हो तो अब यही काम आपको जी स्केलर से करना है राइट right? तो कैसे करोगे तो जी स्केलर से जब आपको सेम ही काम करना है तो करना क्या है कि आपको ना अब जब जी स्कलर प्रॉक्सी आप लगा दोगे कहीं यहाँ पे जी स्कलर प्रॉक्सी लग जाएगा अब ये इंटरनेट राउटर के बाद ना कहीं यहाँ पे जी स्कलर का प्रॉक्सी लग जाएगा जिसको हम जेन बोलते हैं जेन जेन का फुल फॉर्म होता है जी स्केलर इन्फोर्समेंट नोट राइट एक क्लाउड बेस्ड हमारा लोकेशंस होते हैं तो जेन पे जाएगा जिसको हम जी बोलते हैं जी स्कलर इंटरनेट एक्सेस तो जैसे ही यहाँ पे जाएगा इस यूजर का ट्रैफिक एज इट इज जो भी इसका यहाँ पे मैं लिख देता हूँ रुक जाओ ये जो ओरिजिनल पैकेट है ना यहाँ पे यहाँ पे देखो कुछ ऐसा ओरिजिनल पैकेट रहेगा मैं लिख देता हूँ तो इसके अंदर हमारा सोर्स आईपी जो रहेगा ना यहाँ पे तो वो रहेगा टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर डेस्टिनेशन में क्या रहेगा यहाँ पे गूगल डॉट कॉम 
सो यही सेम पैकेट ये मेरा एस हो गया और यहाँ पे ये डी आई पी हो गया राइट सो ये सेम पैकेट यहां से उठकर यही पैकेट ये जेन तक जाएगा ये चेंज नहीं होगा यहाँ पे इसका जो रहेगा टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन रहेगा और यहाँ पे गूगल रहेगा यहाँ पे कुछ भी चेंज नहीं होगा मतलब आपका प्रॉक्सी तक सेम पैकेट चला जाएगा पैकेट चला जाएगा लेकिन जब जेन इस पैकेट को गूगल पे भेजेगा ना जब जेन इसको गूगल पे भेजेगा तो ये क्या करेगा इस पैकेट पे अपना सोर्स लगा देगा और ओरिजिनल सोर्स को हटा देगा मतलब क्या हुआ जैसे ही अब यहाँ नया पैकेट बना अब इसको इंटरनेट भेजेगा तो अब क्या करेगा जेन आपका यहाँ डेस्टिनेशन में तो गूगल डॉट कम रहने देगा उसको नहीं चेंज करेगा सो गूगल डॉट कम नहीं चेंज करेगा बट यहाँ पे जो अपनी जेन की आई होगी ना पब्लिक वो लगा देगा तो ये डिफरेंट हो मतलब आपका एंड टू एंड आपको नेट नहीं करना पड़ा नेटवर्क में आपने सिंपली ट्रैफिक जिस कलर को भेज दिया आपने प्रॉक्सी सर्वर ले रखा है आपने जिस कलर को भेज दिया जिस कलर के बाद उसने आपके ट्रैफिक को आपके बिहार पे इंटरनेट पे भेजा और जैसे ही इंटरनेट से ट्रैफिक रिप्लाई आया उसकी पूरी असेसमेंट करेगा इवन आप, आपने जब ट्रैफिक भेजा ना इसको तो भी पूरा असेसमेंट करेगा ऐसा नहीं कि आपको इसे सिंपली छोड़ देगा मतलब ये पैकेट जैसे ही जेन के पास पहुंचा ये वाला इस पे देखेगा कि कौन सी पॉलिसी इन्फोर्स है लेयर टू लेयर थ्री लेयर फोर लेयर सेवन कंटेंट डेटा लिख सब कुछ चेक करेगा लाइक वाइज द फायर वॉल बट ये क्लाउड बेस आपको इन हाउस कुछ भी नहीं करना नेट नहीं करने की जरूरत है और चेक करने के बाद अगर आपकी सारी पॉलिसी मिट होंगी तब तो इसको इंटरनेट भेजेगा नहीं तो उस पैकेट को वहीं पर ड्रॉप कर देगा सो दिस इज हाउ जी एस कलर इज गोइंग टू कम इन पिक्चर एंड दिस इज द प्रोक्सी सर्वर Not in the firewall, but it having the similar feature of the firewall, and some firewall having the similar feature of the JS killer. But ये एक proxy server है. Yes, you are right, server, but the proxy server, not the normal legacy server. So, ah, uh, आपको clear हुआ? जी सर, clear हुआ मेरा. Okay, thank you so but much. पहले ये 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 मतलब इससे पहले तो Cisco का जो पहले अपना प्रोडक्ट है सिस्को से अलग है सिस्को से कोई लेना देना नहीं है इसका ठीक है सिस्को अपना दुकान चलाती है अपना जिस पर अपना दुकान चलाते जैसे आप शर्ट खरीदते हो ना जैसे दो ब्रांड के शर्ट होते हैं जैसे मोबाइल खरीदते हो आपके पास किसी को एप्पल का मोबाइल होगा किसी को सैमसंग होगा तो वैसे दो अलग अलग काम है दोनों मोबाइल कॉल करने काम आती है पर दोनों का फंक्शन अलग अलग है ठीक है सर से ऑथेंटिकेशन भी होता है सर ना सॉरी सॉरी ऑथेंटिकेशन का भी काम करता है सर ना जीएस के लिए हाँ जी हाँ जी ऑथेंटिकेशन का भी काम करता है जेस किलर हाँ, जैसे कोई भी हाँ, यूजर जाएगा उसके पास उसको ऑथेंटिकेट भी करेगा वो पॉलिसी सारे चेक करेगा कि भाई वो राइट यूजर है कि नहीं है बिना उसका एडी से इंटीग्रेट भी हो जाता है तो सब कुछ करता है जेस किलर लाइक लाइक टकाक टकाक और ये इसके लाइक टकाक ना टकाक और इसका जी हाँ हाँ टकाक्स टकाक्स तो हमारा होता है टकाक्स एक्चुअली क्या होता है टकाक्स जो हमारा होता है वो हमारा डिवाइस को ऑथेंटिकेट करने के लिए काम होता है उस पर हमारी कुछ पॉलिसी होती है जिसमें हमारे एडी ग्रुप हम बने होते हैं कुछ सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ ऑथेंटिकेशन करता है बट यहाँ पे मतलब थोड़ा सा उसकी फंक्शनलिटी थोड़ी एडवांस हो जाती है यहाँ पे बस इतना ही बट हाँ आप इसको सोच सकते हो टकाक्स की तरह एक ऑथेंटिकेशन का काम करना करता है ओके 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 थैंक 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 यू यू और कैसा चल रहा है आपका कैसा चल रहा है बाकी आपका काम कैसा चल रहा है हाँ सर बढ़िया चल रहा है अभी सर मैं ऑफिस में ड्यूटी पे हूँ अभी क्या क्या कर लोगों को बताओ थोड़ा लोग सुना आप क्या किस रोल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पे काम कर रहे हो और कैसा लग रहा है आपको ट्रेनिंग वनिंग करने के बाद चीजें हाँ एक मिनट सर एक मिनट वन सेकेंड सर अभी मैं अच्छा कर रहा हूँ बस अभी अभी मैं ज्वाइन किया हूँ तो और मैं आपसे पलवर टू करने के बाद अभी मैं जो भी है अभी काम हम हम भी उतना एक्सपर्ट नहीं है बट आई विल नो पलवर टू एंड वट एवर वर्क इज ए साइन फॉर मी आई विल कम्प्लीटली डू कम्प्लीटली आई एम वर्किंग ऑन दैट प्रॉपरली देर इज नो एनी इशू If there is a mistaking, if yes. I am mistaking anywhere, so hmm. my synergy are there. He is helping me. Hmm. Good, good. Look, boy, yar, as you know, actually, production environment. Me, whenever you start your career, so, what you have to do is that 
देखो ट्रेनिंग तो एक आपका बेस होता है बेस क्रिएट करता है बट सेल्फ स्टडी और सेल्फ रिसर्च ही आपको बहुत आगे लेके जाता है राइट सो so, जितना आप सेल्फ सेल्फ स्टडी करते हो सेल्फ रिसर्च करते हो सो so, वो ज्यादा लाइक आपके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट होते हैं राइट सो कीप डूइंग योर बेस्ट कीप ट्राइंग टू यू नो लर्निंग जो भी डाउट है अगर आपको प्रोडक्शन में कभी दिक्कत आता है ऐसे सेशन में आकर आप लोग पूछ ले करो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ठीक है लाइफ में चलेगा वो तो काम है चलना लोगों को पढ़ाना मेरा काम है बट मेरे को एग्जिस्टिंग स्टूडेंट को लगता है कि नहीं मैं कहीं स्टक हो गया तो ऐसे लाइफ सेशन तो मैं करते रहता हूँ तो थोड़े दिन से मैं नहीं कर पा रहा ड्यू टू सम रीजन आई वॉज बिजी समेर so again mm-hmm. it started so ab ye session chalenge regular basis chalenge so i'll keep talking to every all right so i'll sure, main zoom bhej de raha hu aap log zoom join kar lena sure, aur sure, kabhi sure, bhi koi sure, doubt sure. hai yeah ha right? ha ha thank you thank you thank you sir so, yeah hello ha ji bataiye so ab jis color bhi aap course karwaiyega isme नहीं जी स्किलर का अलग मॉड्यूल है जी स्किलर पैलोल्टो का पार्ट नहीं है तो जी स्किलर का क्या हाँ बताइए आप जस्ट आप सिर्फ पैलोल्टो ही करवाइएगा सिक्योरिटी में पहले ऑल्टो अभी मैं करवाऊंगा सेशन राइट एस डी बैंड सिक्योरिटी में मॉड्यूल लॉन्च करूंगा इस साल uh, पहले नहीं करता था तो एक एस डी बैंड का सिक्योरिटी एंड एस डी बैंड का नेटवर्क बैच दोनों में लॉन्च करूंगा ठीक है चेक पॉइंट फायरवल देखता हूँ कि मेरा बैंड विथ होगा तो आई विल स्टार्ट चेक पॉइंट फायरवल बहुत ही जल्दी सिक्योरिटी में और जिस कलर का हम थियोरिटिकल वीडियो फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सबको देंगे मैं डेली बेसिस या वीकली बेसिस पे एक दो वीडियो दूंगा आप लोगों को कोई चार्ज नहीं है फ्री मैं इसलिए जिस कलर में इसलिए फ्री दे रहा हूं आप लोगों को क्योंकि मैं देख रहा हूं कि जिस कलर में बहुत मार्केट में रिक्वायरमेंट है और लोगों के पास ना तो मटेरियल है ना ट्रेनर अवेलेबल है मेरे पास नॉलेज है मैं ट्रेनिंग भी देता हूं लोगों को बट ओनली दिक्कत है कि मैं आप लोगों को ट्रेनिंग बिना लैब का कैसे दे सकता हूं लैब नहीं है लैब इज वेरी कॉस्टली राइट तो जिस तरह लैब नहीं देती है और लैब बन नहीं सकती है तो मैंने सोचा है कि इन ट्वेंटी मैंने आज से स्टार्ट कर दिया आप लोग को एवरी वीक एक जिस कलर पर नए टॉपिक पर नया वीडियो मिलेगा फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट आप लोग को देखना है आप लोग को लाइव इशू समझना है कि जिस कलर चलता कैसे है और दो तीन वीडियो मैंने डाल रखा है चैनल पे बट मैं स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट मॉड्यूल बाई मॉड्यूल कि हर एक टॉपिक को मैं थियोटिकली करके आप लोग को मतलब जितना हो सकता है एक्सप्लेन करके मैं आप लोग को यूट्यूब पे डालूंगा आप लोग जस्ट वहां पे जाके देखो कुछ नहीं देना है आपके प्रोडक्शन में अगर मिलेगा तो आप वहां से रिलेट करो राइट जिस कलर ट्रेनिंग बहुत ही महंगी है और नो इज गिविंग द मार्केट एक्सेप्ट जेस कलर राइट और okay. या फिर कॉर्पोरेट टाइप नहीं है तो ठीक है इस वजह से थोड़ी सी प्रॉब्लम है जेस कलर की जी और मैं कह रहा था कि आप ये पॉलोल्टो और एच में एक साथ ही मतलब कर रही है पोलो ऑल्टो एक अलग मॉड्यूल है एस डी बैन एक अलग मॉड्यूल है तो अगर कोई दोनों बैच ज्वाइन करता है तो हम दोनों कराते हैं ठीक है अगर एक करता है किसी को एस डी बैन ही पढ़ना है तो एस डी बैन हम कराते हैं किसी को पहले ऑल्टो पढ़ना है तो पहले ऑल्टो कराते हैं तो इट्स लाइक इंडिविजुअल चॉइस की क्या करना अगर दोनों कराना तो दोनों करा देंगे कोई दिक्कत नहीं एक वीकेंड में चलेगा एक वीक डेज में चलेगा ठीक है या फिर एक कोर्स पहले कर लो एक कोर्स बाद में कर लो इट्स टोटली कि आप कैसे करना चाहते हो तो प्रॉब्ली संडे को एस डी का सेशन होगा लाइव डेमो होगा तो आपको मैं लिंक दे दूंगा तो आप सभी को तो आप लोग ज्वाइन करना देखना कि मतलब कैसा हाउ इट्स गोइंग ऑन द एस डी ओके ठीक है तो मैं बता रहा था, था कि अभी मैं थोड़ा सा इसको कंप्लीट करती हूँ फायरवल है कैसे लॉग इन करना देखो फायरवल मैंने कर लिया इसको आई पी मिल गया है तो मैं इसको लॉग इन करता हूँ अपने पहले तो इसको सी एल आई से लॉग इन करोगे तो ये हो जाएगा इसमें देखो आई पी मिल गया सब कुछ इसको मैं सिंपली जाकर ब्राउजर पर अगर मैं इस आई पी को डालता हूँ तो ये हमारी फायरवल लॉग इन हो जाएगी इसको एस टी टी पी एस करना पड़ेगा सॉरी एस टी टी पी एस बात करेंगे कि 
कैसे बेसिक कंफिगेशन होती है और कुछ कुछ चीजें मैं बात करूंगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में राइट सो आज तो बहुत ही बेसिक हमने समझा कुछ बेसिक फंडामेंटल समझा सर्टिफिकेशन एंड ऑल मैं और नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में बात करूंगा कि भाई हम पहलो वर्ल्ड टू फायर वर्ल्ड ही क्यों करें जैसे मैंने स्टार्टअप प्रेजवान कोस्ट डेयर का बात किया मैंने फिर मैं अलग फायर वर्ल्ड से मैं कंपेयर करके दिखाऊंगा फायर वर्ल्ड होता क्या है मैंने अभी बताया नहीं है सो आई वॉज आई वॉज थिंकिंग मैं बताऊंगा आप लोग को बट समाउ आई मिस टू एक्सप्लेन मैं कहीं दूसरे डायरेक्शन में चला गया एंड ऑलरेडी हम काफी देर बात कर चुके हैं सो प्रोबली नेक्स्ट क्लास आई एल एक्सप्लेन कि ये फायरवल होता क्या है इसकी जरूरत क्या है और कैसे इसको कंफिगेशन करते हैं तो भाई इस तरह से कुछ डैशबोर्ड खुलेगा फायरवल पर लॉग इन करोगे तो और ये कुछ कुछ चीजें इस पर दिखाई देंगी डैशबोर्ड पे जैसे आप लोग देख पा रहे हो इस पर्टिकुलर फायरवल पे मैं इसको इरेज कर दे रहा हूँ इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें हैं लाइक इसका मॉडल नंबर रियल नंबर सब कुछ है राइट सो so, ये लाइसेंस फायरवल है राइट इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें हम एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं और यही लैब एक्सेस भी आप लोग को मिलेगा इन फायरवल का और इस पे जाकर आप लॉग इन करके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टैब्स कॉन्फ़िगरेशन हम सब कुछ यहाँ से करेंगे लाइक ए सी सी कमांड सेंटर है हमारे पास मॉनिटर सेंटर है हमारे पास पॉलिसीज हम कैसे बनाते हैं अभी तो कुछ भी कॉन्फ़िगर नहीं है बिल्कुल ब्रांड न्यू फायरवल है बिल्कुल इसमें एक भी चीज कन्फिगर नहीं है फैक्ट्री डिफॉल्ट है सो so, हम जब कन्फिगेशन करेंगे तो विल एक्सप्लोर एवरी टैब और मैक्सिम चीजें जो हमारे सिलेबस में है विल ट्राई टू कवर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन राइट सो आई बिलीव दैट सॉल्व फॉर टूडे सेशन फ्रॉम माई एंड अगर किसी को कोई और डाउट है तो कैन डिस्कस इट देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम किसी को भी कोई डाउट है तो आप लोग बताइए पंकज सर गुड इवनिंग यस यस शिवा गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू फाइन सर कैन यू ग्रेप व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप फॉर अवर करंट बच या श्योर 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 आई विल क्रिएट ओके 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल राइट एनी अदर क्वेरी दोस्त एनी वन हैविंग एनीथिंग लास्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी प्लीज फील फ्री टू आस्क कुछ भी अगर मन में आ रहा हो कोई डाउट है तो यू गैज कैन आस्क ओके सो इन दैट केस जस्ट एंजॉय योर फ्राइडे इवनिंग ओके एंड प्रॉबली नेक्स्ट वीक अगेन हम कनेक्ट करेंगे विथ मोर एनर्जी मंडे को शाम में एंड विल डिस्कस अबाउट मोर थिंग अबाउट द पैल ऑल्ड राइट सो जस्ट इंजॉय योर वीकेंड एंजॉय योर क्रिसमस और ये एक चीज बता रहा हूँ ये बैच स्टार्ट हमारा ऑफिशियली जो होगा वो सेकेंड से होगा राइट right? और नेक्स्ट वीक हम प्रॉब्ली कुछ बेसिक डिस्कशन करेंगे एक दो दिन और ये सेकेंड ऑफ जनवरी से रेगुलर बैच स्टार्ट होगा और ये इसको हम इसके बाद कंटिन्यू करेंगे राइट सो मीन वाइल इफ हैविंग एनी क्वेश्चन जस्ट रीच आउट टू मी और टीम एंड विल डिस्कस इट ओके थैंक यू हैव ए ग्रेट इवनिंग टूर ओके बाय